Mad Adoe calls on residents to report suspicious persons. Anambra State Command of Niger Hunters and Forest Security Service neutralizes six criminal elements. National Institute for Legislative and Democratic Studies described as an essential institution in training African parliamentarians. And on the foreign scene, China removes foreign minister Mr. Gang. Before the news in detail, here is a special message. Governor Chukuma Saludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra State economy and the promotion of core Igbo values. Let's give him maximum support for the tax ahead. Good morning. Welcome to the news. My name is Chidema Orangwa. Following publication of picture of the gunman arrested at a popular hotel in Oka two days ago by Anambra State Police Command, a 24-year-old graduate of Nnamda Sikiwe University has come forward to allege that the suspect raped and raped her at gunpoint at another hotel in Oka on 11th July 2023. She stated that the suspect was among the criminals that abducted her when she boarded a tricycle along Ifiteto Aroma Junction on 10th of July this year, took her to a hotel within the area, disposed her of her personal belongings and raped her before she was allowed to go. The victim Tim, who looked traumatized, identified her phones among the phones recovered from the suspect. When interrogated on the new allegation, suspect admitted to uh, robbing the victim at gunpoint but denied the rape charge. He also provided names of two accomplices. Meanwhile, two more pistols have been recovered from the suspect. Management of yet another hotel where he lodged on scene. Police publication had alerted the police that the suspect lodged in one of their hotel rooms before his arrest at another hotel. The detectives then proceeded to the hotel and searched the room where he lodged only to discover two more Beretta pistols among his personal effects. Information has been received that the suspect is responsible for the murder of at least two persons in separate incidents in Oka in the last three months. The Commissioner of Police, D.P. Aderemi Adoye, has ordered detectives to leave no stone unturned in their investigation in order to protect just society and get justice for victims of the suspect's alleged crimes. He also urged residents to report suspicious persons and unusual movement they may observe to the nearest police station or through the command emergency number 112 or call 070-391-94332 for prompt response. The suspect is to be arraigned in court after investigation is concluded. Meanwhile, a gun battle between heads of unknown gunmen and the operatives of the Anambra State Command of the Nigeria Hunters and Forest Security Service, NHFSS, has led to the neutralization of at least six of criminal elements, with two members of the group arrested and handed over to the police. Acting on native intelligence, officers and men of the Nigeria Hunters and Forest Security Service led by CSA Ujuku of Umobanam, working with some men in the state vigilante group, had between Friday night through Saturday led a siege on a camp located at a forest in Umwengwalum Anam, where which was identified as hideout of the unknown gunmen. According to CSA Ujuku, who led the operation, although some men of the Nigeria Hunters and Forest Security Service sustained injuries, none of them died during the gunfight. It said a search conducted around the camp of the unknown gunmen, which was uh, constructed to look like a shrine, led to the discovery of severe parts of human bodies believed to be their victims. Other items found at the camp include a Lexus 350 and two AK-47 rifles. They also reported that they demolished and set the camp ablaze while all recovered items were handed over to the police for further action. CSO Ujuku thanked the Transition Committee Chairman Anambra East Local Government Area, Dr. Anselm Onora, for his support for the NHFSS in the area, which has con continued to motivate them for exploit. He also praised the Deputy Commander General, NHFSS, in charge of technical services, Ambassador John Mechi, for his role, adding that it was the CNA car he donated to them that was used 
for the operation against the gunman. The DP Otoa Chow Police Station also received the commendation for his support to the Nigeria Hunters and Forest Security Service, which led to the success of the operation. Meanwhile, the police public relations officer in the state, DSP Ikenga Tochiku, while responding to ABS telephone inquiry, said he was yet to receive such information from the Otocha Divisional Police Officer as at the time of filing this report. Six suspected illegal revenue collectors who were arrested by the Edinburgh State Internal Revenue Service, ARRS, have been uh, remanded in prison by a chief magistrate court sitting in Ubuenu, Oka North local government area. Their charges bordered an alleged diversion of taxes, levies and other revenue against the will of the state government. Amaka Chibuzo Okoye has details. This file with suit number MUG AIRS OIC 2023, the Commissioner of Police accused Mr. Willie Anuzier from Obaru of illegal collection of taxes, levies, and other revenues on 19th July 2023, an offense punishable under Section 60 and 61 of Anambra Revenue Administration Law 2010. It also accused Mezas Obi Chibata from Uzuwani in Enugu State, Namdi Oko. Chidera Okoye, Ikenna Okechuhu, all from Omo and Moses Ifune from Omasago in Ayamelum local government area of Anambra State for conspiracy to illegally collection of taxes, levies, and other revenue. When the charges were read to the defendants, they pleaded and were then remanded at Oka Correctional Center. The case was adjourned till 31st August 2023 for ruling on bail application. Meanwhile, the Anambra State Government, through the Executive Director, Operations Department of AIRS, Dr. Christian Madbuko, said the prosecution will serve as a deterrent to other illegal revenue collectors in the state. Without uh, committing these guys into prison, uh, others will want to learn lesson. And for our revenue to grow, we have to take uh, decisive actions and that decisive actions are started i am amaka chibuzo ukoye for abs news the assistant governor of rotary international district 9142 rotary and abutin has instituted a five-year endowment fund for the best evil graduate student at all Saints seminary colombia in agata lucky government area of Number state rotary and Warsaw who made the pronouncement shortly after receiving a meritorious service award from the school during the Athent graduation ceremony and award presentation held at the school premises over the weekend, said the move to institute the endowment fund is a part of efforts aimed at safeguarding Igbo language and culture from institution. Correspondent Joseph Iwacha reports. Adrian Mwazo, who dedicated the award to Rotary International and all lovers of charity and philanthropy, charged parents to always invest in the education of their children to secure a bright future for them. I want to dedicate it to Rotary International. Rotary is a name I want to promote, not myself. I think God has done a lot for me. Therefore, it goes on me to channel all those things God has given me, as He given me to the service of God and humanity. Earlier in his sermon, during a church service to commemorate the event, the chaplain of the school, Venerable Benjamin Ikechuku, who spoke on the theme, Go in thy might, as recorded in Judges 6 verse 14, said, In present-day Nigeria, where God's people are still living as in a slave situation, more courageous people are needed to shine the light of God and dispel darkness of corruption, injustice, and all societal ills. He specifically tasked parents to rededicate self and bring sanity to the society through positive influence on their words. You must realize that God's impact in your life is not through wickedness and is not for wickedness. It is for the salvation of people. You cannot go into the society to live your life like those who are just money mongers. And that is not the purpose of God for you. So I call on you that you know that the society is waiting for your manifestation, but you must be alas. 
In his validatory address, the principal of the school, Reverend Canon Ifai Mwemene, reminded the outgoing students that they have been given excellent and solid foundation to excel. For the bishop's wife and president of the Assistant Women Ministry, Chinyere Ezofo, who was among those that also received award at the event, said parents made wise decision in enrolling the awards in the school for academic excellence and solid spiritual background. And their light, they should allow their light to shine. They will never allow the things of this world to dampen the light of God in their lives. So let them go and shine. We sing, we sing them. God will cause them to bear fruit. And to the glory of God. On behalf of the graduating students, Masters Sopruchuku Okechuku and Promise Sam Ilezue thank the parents and teachers for ensuring a better future for them, while the incumbent senior prefect of the school, Master Samson Emmanuel, urged the outgoing students to remain good ambassadors of the school. The ceremony featured cutting of graduation cakes. Honourable State Government, through the State Internal Revenue Service, has inaugurated the sale of 2023 emblem at Auditor. The ceremony was performed by the Executive Director of Operations of the Service, Dr. Christian Madabuko, on behalf of the Acting Chairman, Correspondent Amaka Chibuzo Koye, tells us more. Inaugural ceremony commences the sale of the emblems for 2023, which will be purchased by commercial vehicles, including tricycle operators. The emblem is consolidated for state and local government. Addressing the officials recruited for the sale, Dr. Matt Buko cautioned against fraudulent practices, including faking the emblem to divert government revenues, stressing that their core mandate is to ensure sanity and not to reconstitute problems, asking them not to sell above government government price. Dr. Madbuko disclosed that the emblem is to sell at 5,000 Naira only at the office and during enforcement, anyone caught will pay 12,000 Naira. He noted that the agency will monitor them so as to ensure that they did not go against the rule and anyone found guilty will be sanctioned. He reminded them of the need to generate money for government for its services. Uh, the government need money and uh, we can get that money to you if you behave yourself well. Later, the operations unit carried out revenue drive at Onicha and Environs, as well as Omase Adani Uzowani Road in Aya Melum local government area, where they arrested about 10 persons suspected of diversion of revenue and bullying drivers flying the road. The suspects, according to their confessions, were employed by prominent individuals in the state to work for them despite the present administration's warning against such activity. Two of the drivers, Mezas Chukunonso Okeji and Cosmos Okechi, said that they are facing difficulties on the road as they are forced to buy all manner of papers and emblems costing at least 1,000 naira with a threat that if they refuse, their buses will be seized and destroyed. When interviewed, one of the suspects, Mr. William Anozie from Obaru, say he is the leader of Obaru Local Government Volunteer Task Force that enforces against extortion, but was surprised when someone they punished for extortion from others mentioned his name as being involved in the act. Amaka Chibuzo Okoye, ABS News. The National Institute for Legislative and Democratic Studies, NILDS, has been described as an essential institution for good governance in Africa. Princess Ekwia Jide has detailed. The speaker of the ECOWAS Parliament, C.D. Tunis, who gave the description during a courtesy call on the needs office in Abuja, was accompanied on the visit by the Speaker of the East African Legislative Assembly, EALA, Honorable Joseph Ntakri Tutama. There, the ECOWAS Parliament and the East African Legislative Assembly, EALA, delegations resolved to sign a Memorandum of Understanding, MOU, with the National Institute for Legislative and Democratic Studies needs on capacity building for African parliamentarians in a bid to advance democracy in Africa. The MOU, if signed, will provide for the training of legislators and parliamentary staff in areas such as lawmaking, public policy, 
and conflict resolution and will help to ensure that legislators are equipped with the knowledge and skills they need to effectively represent their constituents and make sound laws. The Speaker of ECOWAS Parliament, Mr. Tony, said that there should be a policy for ECOWAS member states to send their parliamentarians to the Institute to build capacity. He expressed joy that ECOWAS Parliament would align with needs as according to him it is better to train parliamentarians and parliamentary staff at needs than the national democratic institute ndi in the united states after today the secretary general is here from ECOWAS parliament we are going to work with you collaborate with you and maybe even bring it up at the ECOWAS commission so that the authority of heads of states of this region will ensure that we bring news under uh, the legislative infrastructure of the South region. The Director General of NEEDS, Professor Abubakar Suleiman, on his part, said the Institute was established to train legislators and parliamentary staff. According to Suleiman, the mandate of the Institute, which is fully funded by the government of Nigeria but autonomous, has been expanded to provide support for political parties and civil society organizations, among others. I need to work with you. In any area you want us to work with you. Whether in the areas of election, parliamentary organization, is a study and procedures, we are ready to work with you. And we are at the forefront of advocacy in ensuring that Nigeria gets it right. In Abuja, Princess Ewi Ajide reporting. And on the foreign scene, China has removed Mr. Qin Yang as foreign minister less than seven months after he was appointed to the post. The role will be taken up by the Communist Party Foreign Affairs Chief, Mr. Wang Yi, who was previously foreign minister. Mr. Qin's prolonged disappearance from public view and the ministry's silence over it has fueled a furious speculation. The 57-year-old last known public engagement were on 25th uh, June. Appointed to the post last December, Mr. Keane was seen as a trusted aide of President Xi Jinping. No reason was given for Mr. Keane's removal, but the reports say President Xi had signed the decree authorizing the move. Now in sports, the Nigeria Football Federation NFF has declared that it has nothing to hide in a $1.7 million approved by the federal government for Super Falcons' participation in the ongoing Women's World Cup holding in Australia and New Zealand. NFF's declaration came just as former Green Eagles winger Adegoke Adelabu charged the football house to be ready to account for how it spent the money after the competition. The $1.7 million approved by President Bola Tinibu for the Super Falcons' participation at the World Cup was said to have been deliberately leaked to members of the public from office of the Chief of Staff in the presidential villa, thereby causing mixed reactions from stakeholders. While some are of the opinion that the leakage of such classified documents should be condemned, others feel it will make the NFF to sit up. Some other stakeholders were of the opinion that the federal government doesn't have any business approving such huge amount for the NFF since World Football Governing Body FIFA had already given the football house $1.5 million to prepare the team and would pay $30,000 to each player participating in the World Cup after the first round of matches. Remember that you can follow news and programs on ABS from any parts of the world by liking our Facebook page at Anambra Broadcasting Service. Subscribe to our YouTube page at ABS Television Oka. Follow us on Twitter at ABS Radio TV and on Instagram at ABS Radio TV. You can also log on to our website at www.absradiotv.com. And now the main points again. Commissioner of Police Anambra State Command Adoye has called on residents to report suspicious persons. Anambra State Command of the Nigeria Hunters and Forest Security Service has neutralized six criminal elements. National Institute for Legislative and Democratic Studies described as an essential institution in training African parliamentarians. 
And we also told you that uh, China has removed foreign minister, Mr. Giang. Governor Chukuma Saludo has come for a total turnaround maintenance of the Anambra State economy and promotion of core Igbo values. Let's give him maximum support for the tax ahead. And that's it on the news this morning. Many thanks for joining us. Good morning. Stay ahead.